Well, hello, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Yvonne Pendleton, and I'm the director. of NASA's Solar System Exploration Research Virtual Institute, which we fondly call SURVEY for short. SURVEY is the host to this Exploration Science Forum each year, and this year we have more registrants than ever before. We're very excited to have everyone here, and I think as the next three days unfold, you'll learn a lot. I know I always do. To welcome us and officially open the ceremonies today, I would like to introduce and have you meet our new center director, Dr. Eugene Tu. He is someone who is very much a part of the Human Exploration and Missions Operations Directorate work that comes out of NASA headquarters, and that is one of the primary funding agencies for SURVEY. Uh, so Eugene really appreciates the work that we do and the bringing together of science and exploration to enable uh, our next steps in our human destination um, pathway. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Eugene Tu. Thank you, Yvonne, and good morning, everyone. Uh, I would like to welcome you to NASA Ames, for those of you who are not from here. Uh, and of course, being here in the heart of Silicon Valley, I think we've gotten past our little window of East Coast-like weather with the high humidity and heat. So hopefully the rest of the next few days should be much more comfortable outside. Um, I'll give just a little bit, since you mentioned it, a little bit of personal background for me. I've been in this job now for about eight weeks, nine weeks. And I've told everyone, as long as I'm still counting up, that's good news. As soon as I start counting down, I'm really concerned. <laughs> no, so it's, it's been great. I'm new to this job, uh, but I'm not new to the center. I've been at the center for a little over 30 years. Uh, I started here as an undergraduate co-op student in computational fluid dynamics and aerospace engineering, and then I moved on uh, to become a full-time employee here and did research for quite a while and then went into management. For the last uh, nine or ten years, I had led the Exploration Technology Directorate here at Ames. It's actually the largest directorate here and uh, fits very well with what you'll be talking about because our job in that directorate was to advance the technology, the tools, the capabilities that help enable exploration science. And so, so we, we worked in areas like supercomputing, modeling, and simulation. Uh, we worked in areas like human factors, uh, autonomy and robotics, which of course is a key part. Um, and then also entry systems technologies. How do you get into a, another planetary atmosphere or back to Earth? Uh, so that's where I spent the last 10 years, and then, as I mentioned, the last two months in, in this new job. So it is, it is our distinct honor and pleasure to be hosting the second annual Exploration Science Forum here. Uh, and we're looking forward to the great exchange of ideas, information, and new opportunities for collaboration that will come from the next, next few days with all of you. Uh, Ames is I mentioned the host center for this uh, forum's sponsor host, the Solar System Exploration Research Virtual Institute. It is one of three virtual institutes in the agency. Uh, the other two are the NASA Astrobiology Institute, NAI, and the NASA Aeronautics Research Institute, NARI. And I'm pleased to say all three institutes are hosted here, here at Ames. And it is, that is a reflection, in my view, of our center's role and commitment to national and international partnerships and bringing together a broader community, as you represent, together to obtain uh, even greater goals and outcomes. The other key characteristic of AIMS that I'd want to mention is we're an inherently multidisciplinary center with a very broad portfolio of work. Uh, we're one of the few centers that supports all four mission directorates within NASA, uh, human exploration, science, space technology, and aeronautics research, and almost all, all equally. Uh, as an R&D center with operations, uh, and, and in key domains, we also span the range of fundamental research to actual mission operations, typically in the small spacecraft uh, arena. Uh, this multidisciplinary characteristic, I think, is very much in line with the intersection of exploration and science, and it's pretty much at the heart of what this forum, and I would say indeed NASA, uh, is really about. So without taking much more time, again, I'd like to welcome you to Ames, and I'm looking forward to some great things that will come out of the next few days. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Eugene. Those are wonderful comments. 
Uh, I would also like to uh, add to our welcome uh, our headquarters um, science mission directorate representative, Dr. Kurt Niebuhr. And we are very fortunate to have Kurt with us today. He is the uh, program scientist for many of the missions that you know and have heard much about. Uh, to name just a, a few, uh, I would like to uh, I'd like to tell you that he's also the uh, lead program scientist for the New Frontiers program, of which we all know the New Horizons mission this past week led NASA to such great success, and we have so much more to come from it. I'd like us all to just take a moment to applaud New Horizons and the success of the program and the team. So how Kurt finds time to manage all of these and do it so well, I have no idea. But besides the two that I've already mentioned, he's also the program scientist for the Cassini uh, Huygens mission to Saturn, uh, the Juno mission, uh, the Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer mission, and the Europa flyby mission, which you will hear more about just before lunchtime today. He's also the discipline scientist for the Homesteader program, and if you don't know what that is, as I did not, I encourage you to talk to him and find out more about it today. Kurt, we're so glad to have you here with us. Please welcome, uh, add your welcome to the, to the audience. Thank you. It's, uh, it's an extreme pleasure to be here today. I, I want to add my welcome to the words that have already been spoken, but I, I don't want to take too long because I know the fun is about to begin. Uh, the fun being when we get to meet with our colleagues, hear about the work they're doing, share with it, ask them questions, uh, point out perhaps where they have, might have a blind eye on their research as well. Uh, the reason we do all this is not just the missions that we do. We do missions in order to do science. Missions are the tool by which we perform that science. And I think it's important that we always keep in mind that the end result of, of all the efforts that the science mission director does, no matter which scientific division, is in the end scientific results, scientific research. And all of you are absolutely key to that. If you are fortunate enough to be on a mission, that's great. But even if you're not on a mission, the work you do is the core of what science uh, is, is the core at, of what NASA was created to provide. So I want to thank you all for your time, not just coming to this workshop this week, but all the time you put in, whether you're writing proposals, hustling to get the money you need to do your research, but mostly and most importantly, the time you put into your science, to your research. I think it is a, it is a not well-kept secret that you guys spend far more time in the lab, far more time in your, at your computers than you're paid to do. And you do that because you know it's important. You do that because you're passionate about it. And I, for one, at headquarters, recognize the passion that you guys bring to your research, recognize the long hours that you put in, and I very much appreciate it. So thank you all very much. Excellent. OK, so now I just have a, a few comments for you before we get started on the awards part of this ceremony, which is always the most fun, I think. Uh, I want to, first of all, thank the Scientific Organizing Committee that did such a fabulous job putting the program together, and of course, all of you who submitted the abstracts from which we could choose. The Scientific Organizing Committee was led this year by Chip Shearer and Addie Dove. I thank you both very much. Excellent job. And as usual, the local organizing committee led here, I think jointly, actually. Uh, we, we named Shirley Berthold, who does an awful lot of the work. But I'd also like to say Greg Schmidt, who really uh, herds all everyone together and makes sure everything's marching in the right direction. Thank you so much, Greg, again, for another fabulous forum I'm sure we're going to enjoy. So some things to point out. Those of you who have been here before will know this already. Those are, who are new to the forum, please check out the focus groups, which we have at lunchtime today and tomorrow. There are several listed in the back of the program. You can see the rooms where they will meet over lunchtime. And we encourage you to get together. 
And uh, one of the things that uh, we take very seriously here at Survey is bringing together communities of people who might not otherwise work together on a project. Exploration and science go hand in hand, and we, we feel like the focus groups really help advance that forward. So please take some time and join one of them if you can. The lunch will be provided by uh, the barbecue uh, folks who did it last year, if you were here. It was quite good. We, we got a lot of good comments back on it. So you will have that option all three days. And uh, today you have an extra long lunch time, so you'll, you'll have more time to get together with your friends and, and colleagues and make uh, renew acquaintances and go to the focus group. The lightning rounds. This is a part of the program that people have told us year after year is one of their favorite portions. Uh, this is where young people will get up in front of you and they will have uh, up to two minutes to tell you who they are, what they do, where they're from. If they have a poster, they'll tell you what that number is and when they'll be there. I know that they will tell you all this because we just practiced for, for about a half an hour this morning. And they are fabulous. We have a great group for you to meet this year. And I know so many of them make connections at the forum that help them in their career. Uh, I really encourage you to take some time to meet the young people and encourage them in the way that only you who've been through everything that they're about to experience uh, can do. We have a very special event that will happen at the closing of the forum this year. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. You have to stick around if you want to see what that is. But I think you'll really appreciate it if you do. We also have a resource prospector workshop on Friday. This is not part of the forum, and, uh, but it's very much something that Survey cares about and supports. So we encourage all of you to stay for the Friday event if you can. And hopefully you knew about that before you made your plane ticket arrangements to be here. <laughs> 